What is an Indian? During a normal working day, I answered many questions from non-Indians concerning Indians. The questions vary, and in some cases, poorly stated, but usually add up to one question. What is an Indian? They say he is a person who doesn't work, but gets a monthly check from the government. Others say that he is lazy. Still others say he's a man who got a raw deal from the government. Therefore, he deserves what he can get from the government. Also others say that he is a drunkard, will never amount to anything. So therefore, the government should terminate him and let him make his own way in the white man's society. Myself, I do not see an Indian in the same light as any of these people. I see the Indian as a group of people, all different in their ways, but held together by a common bond called culture. I see the Indian as a group who fought for what was rightfully theirs and branded as savages. I see the Indians as a group who fought courageously against overwhelming odds and after giving in and signing a peace treaty lived to see the treaties broken one by one. I see the Indians as an individual who, when their country was in danger, went to the front voluntarily and gave their last full measure of devotion, not only in the Civil War, but World War I, World War II, the Korean conflict, and Vietnam. I see the Indian as a group of people who are proud and rightfully so, because they possess the secrets of life the white man has never discovered. I see the Indians as a group of people because even in their broken English they will tell you how important it is to gain an education in this modern world. I see the Indians as people who when they cross the culture barrier into the dominant society become the best in their chosen profession whether it be law, medicine, politics, trader, athletes, or fighting for freedom. And when I think of the Indian in this light, I think of the question, what is an Indian? My chest suddenly expands and I think I am an Indian.